Welcome to VIA View Images Anywhere. We want to first start off by thanking you for taking the time to download this video. Uh, in the video you will see how you can view documents in this product as well as indexing them. Uh, one thing you need to know about VIA before we get started is that it's browser based. It means that you can view the documents anywhere you're connected to the internet. Currently we run on Firefox, Safari, and Internet Explorer, which means that it's cross-platform and you can view your documents on a PC, Linux, or Mac. Also, you can change the way VIA displays. Currently from English to Spanish and back. We will be adding more languages in the future, but for this demonstration we're just going to keep it in English. And you also notice, lastly, that uh, it is login and password protected, which means that VIA is very secure. Let's go ahead and log in. And I'm going to go ahead and take a look at a vendor invoice. I know what I'm looking for, so I'm going to look at the accounts payable category. I'm going to select all of the document types. And I happen to know that the invoice number is 1234 of the vendor invoice that I'm looking for. You'll notice that the hit list has appeared, and there happens to be a lot of invoice number 1234s. Um, you'll also notice that we have .doc files and .tif files. .tif files are items that have been scanned into the imaging system, and these .doc files are .doc files are Word documents and that open up in Microsoft Word. So right now let's take a look at a TIFF document. We're going to click on the TIFF document. We're going to view it as an original and it's going to pull up in the TIFF viewer. As you can see it's clearly a vendor invoice. I'm going to go ahead and close that out. Now I'm going to take a look at that exact same document as a PDF. The great thing about PDF is that it can be saved and emailed and uh, has become the standard of document types in the industry. You can see that same document has come up in the PDF viewer and I have the opportunity to print it, save it, email it, do whatever I need to do with it. You can also view multiple documents as one PDF. Each one of these documents is one page, as you can see over here, so I'm going to view it as one PDF and press OK. Now you'll notice that there are two documents in the viewer. Both of them happen to be vendor invoices, and it loaded both of them up in the viewer. Now, the last thing I'm going to show you is how you can view a Word document utilizing VIA. So I've chosen a Word doc and I need to view it as an original. I'm going to press OK. Now, it's going to ask me what to do with it. I would like to open it, and it happens to default to Microsoft Office Word. Now, it's going to go ahead and take a look for Word. Once it finds it, it's going to open up the program and open up the file. Now, in just a few seconds, it'll load this test document. And once it's in here, I can do what I need to do with it. I'm going to go ahead and close out. And we will move on to indexing a document. Currently, you can browse to index, which means you can add one document at a time utilizing VIA. I'm going to go ahead and pick an art document. I'm going to press OK. And I'm going to pick that document type and I am going to put my name in as the artist. I'm going to go ahead and put a PDF in. Let's take a look. Something real simple. We will do this. It is attached to that document and I'm going to save that document. And it's going to take a few seconds to save this particular document. The file has uploaded successfully. Now let's go ahead and view that document. Go ahead, put in art. You know that it was an art document type. Go ahead and type my name in, Doug Bertram. Oops. And 
we are going to search for the document. You'll notice the one that I had was, was a PDF is right here. We're going to go ahead and view as a PDF and press OK. Oh, view as a PDF. And voila, here's my document, the one that I just chose from my desktop. That's V in a nutshell. Thanks for watching.